Hello everyone, Ace here, and today I've decided to do a little bit of a response of sorts to a recent Archcast, which for those of you who don't know, are some podcasts between Arch and Kibbs on Arch's new channel, Archcast. Specifically, let's talk about Total War and the steady decline that the franchise has had over the years, which has been recently highlighted thanks to the Total War Rome Remaster, and just how much more in-depth that game is in comparison to what we typically get now. When trying to describe what the main difference was, Arch ultimately appears to believe that the simple problem is that the old-school Total War games have a soul, which is something that newer-school Total War games seem to have lacking. Now for those of you who want some clarification on what is meant by the word soul, I would have to give you my own interpretation of what he appears to be saying, which is ultimately that creative artistic spark that is imbued upon a game by the developers in a way that makes it stand out among its contemporaries. It should be noted that this definition isn't really specific, but that's also kind of the point. For a soul is, at its core, one of the ultimate manifestations of individualism. It is supposed to be unique, and thus the qualities that make it stand out are also supposed to be unique. Basically what I'm saying is that, at least from how it appears, Arch's description of the soul of a video game, while somewhat pretentious, is nevertheless still perfectly fitting and appropriate. And now armed with the basic understanding of the concept of a video game soul, let's move on to what I would argue is causing this particular devolution in the Total War franchise. For I would argue that Creative Assembly is presently prioritizing accessibility of their games at all costs, in the vain hopes that this will guarantee a wider audience which is a problem that has been around for a while now for the video game industry at large, and has even been one that I've personally talked about for years as well. But to summarize what I've said in the past, what ultimately happens is that AAA developers and publishers that are obsessed with accessibility will slowly but surely rip out the things that made those games unique and special in the first place. Why would they do that, you ask? Because it turns out that having unique characteristics to your game makes it, at least in theory, slightly less accessible. And so, to maximize accessibility, the best route is to obviously make your game as generic and simplistic as possible for people to get into. That is the theory anyways, and it is one that the industry is still slowly working its way out of. Which itself is a good thing, because the idea of trying to make your video games as accessible as possible has wrought considerable damage to the industry and has outright even killed off several franchises. Again though, since I've already talked about this in the past, I'll be leaving a link in the description below to a video where I go into more detail. But getting back to Total War, I do believe that is genuinely what is going on here. That CA specifically are a little late to learning this particular lesson. And instead, they have moved on to the point that what they are ultimately creating is a false accessibility. Because while the game is, in theory, more easier to get into, it is also, at the same time, simply less fun to play. And if your game is not fun or entertaining to play because you've removed everything that makes it unique, then you haven't actually made it more accessible. So ultimately, I do pretty much agree with Kibbs and Arch, and as you can see, have actually provided a little bit more clarification for what I believe is going on here. The only thing that I'm not entirely in agreement with Arch on in this matter is that I'm not as pessimistic as he appears to be when it comes to the Total War franchise. Frankly, if Rome Remastered takes off and becomes a greater success than what Creative Assembly was expecting, then it may serve as a wake-up call that yes, the fans do actually want a proper in-depth Total War experience, and not a franchise that consistently simplifies mechanics such as diplomacy and sieges, or outright gets rid of features such as agents. Now I will say that Total War Rome Remastered is not a perfect game. It is certainly a warts and all sort of situation, due to being a remaster of a game from 2004. At its heart, however, it is still classic Total War. It is a game with a soul. And if it is successful in the manner that I am hoping, it may very well be the massive wake-up call that Creative Assembly desperately needs. In any case, this has been Ace. Hope to see you guys again soon. Take care. Ace out. Thank <laughs>